Some jets win wars, some establish dominance and power over the world, and some can redeem long-lost dignity and trust. The new sixth-generation fighter? It's hoped to be all these and more. For decades, the U.S. and its air dominance have been synonymous with their fire-breathing dragons like the F-22 Raptors and F-35 Lightning II. And who blessed America with those beasts? It's the three decades old ally, Lockheed Martin. But in March 2025, the skies shifted. Projects air power in West Asia. It is also preparing for future conflicts. Day by the 47th president. It will replace Lockheed Martin's F-22 Raptor jet, which entered service nearly 20 years ago. A major turnaround from Boeing when just about five months ago, people were talking about whether Boeing defense would have to sell off parts of its business due to its struggling finances. And it, the redemption tour officially begins right now. A fighter jets, the Trump administration announcing the next generation of air dominance, the F-47. Boeing a company known more for its passenger planes and troubled past, had been awarded the contract for America's first ever sixth generation fighter. Meet the F-47, a jet so mysterious, so advanced, that military analysts are calling it the biggest upset in modern aviation history. But how? How did Boeing outsmart Lockheed, the giant of military aviation? And more importantly, can they actually deliver? Let's find out. But before doing that, how about you click that subscribe button? That way, you'll be the first to get all the updates on every important event or incident our skies witness. To understand why the F-47 is a game changer, we need to step into the future of air combat. Because the battlefields of tomorrow won't be fought like the wars of the past. Today, Warfare is shifting dramatically towards artificial intelligence, drone swarms, and hypersonic missiles. Traditional dogfights are now considered a waste of time and resources. Victory no longer belongs to the pilot who can outmaneuver their enemy. Today, it belongs to the aircraft that can see first, decide first, and strike first. So this sixth generation fighter is needed to be the one that does exactly that. The F-47 isn't just another stealth jet. It's something entirely different. Stealth technology has entered its second generation. New radar-absorbing materials are being introduced, and aerodynamic models are proposed that will make it nearly invisible to enemy sensors. But stealth alone isn't enough anymore. China has unveiled its own sixth-gen fighter that's built on counter-stealth technology. So what's different with the U.S. 6th Gen aircraft? This one is not just designed for stealth. It is designed to think. Equipped with an AI pilot hybrid system, this jet doesn't just follow commands. This fighter assists the pilot in many critical tasks, real-time decision-making, analyzing threats, and even predicting enemy movements. And it never flies alone. This fighter commands a team of autonomous drones, acting as a force multiplier on the battlefield. A single pilot could command an entire swarm, turning one jet into an unstoppable war machine. And then there's the final rumor, the one that could change everything. Some reports suggest the F-47 may have the ability to exceed Mach 2. If that's true, it wouldn't just be an aircraft, it would be a missile with wings. But for all the excitement, the real question remains, can Boeing actually pull this off? Because history tells us, Boeing's past isn't exactly spotless. Boeing wasn't always the underdog. In fact, there was a time when they ruled the skies. The F-15, the B-52, the F-A-18 Super Hornet, jets that defined American air power for decades. But then, everything started falling apart. The 737 MAX crisis sent shockwaves through the aviation world. Two deadly crashes, two global groundings, and billions in losses. It wasn't just a scandal, it was a disaster. 
The KC-46 Pegasus tanker, a project meant to revolutionize air refueling, was plagued with delays, software failures, and embarrassing setbacks for the U.S. Air Force. And worst of all, Boeing kept losing. Again and again and again. They tried competing for fighter jet contracts and repeatedly lost to the military aviation giant, Lockheed Martin. So when the Pentagon announced the competition for America's next-gen stealth fighter, everyone assumed Lockheed had it in the bag. But Boeing wasn't done fighting, and in 2025, they pulled off the impossible. This time, it was Lockheed in the dirt, tasting the bitter defeat. But how? The answer lies in three key factors. First, the design. While Lockheed played it safe, Refining an evolution of the F-22 and F-35, Boeing took a risk. Their prototype was radically different. Sleeker, more efficient, and optimized for AI-driven combat. It wasn't just a fighter jet. It was the next step in warfare. Second, the promise. Boeing presented the Pentagon with a faster, cheaper, and more modular design something Lockheed simply couldn't match. The military needed flexibility. Boeing offered it. And then there's the political factor. Some believe that Donald Trump's return to office played a role. His administration focused on bringing manufacturing and defense contracts back to American soil. But also, Boeing, an American icon, might have had the right connections at the right time. Whether it was strategy, innovation, or politics, the result was the same. Boeing won. But now comes the hard part. Winning the contract was one thing. Delivering the most advanced fighter jet in history? That's something else entirely. Because if Boeing fails, the consequences could be catastrophic. The F-47 isn't just another project for Boeing. It's their shot at redemption, their chance to prove that they can still be trusted to deliver military-grade excellence. If they fail, America's next-generation air power is at risk. If they miss deadlines, Lockheed Martin is standing by, ready to step in and take over. And if the F-47 can't deliver what was promised, Boeing might never recover. The pressure is enormous. But there's something else, something Boeing never saw coming. Because while they're scrambling to bring the F-47 to life, their biggest competition isn't Lockheed anymore. While the U.S. is still finalizing its next-generation fighter, its adversaries have been moving in the shadows. China's J-36 program has been making headlines. Their sixth-gen fighter is rumored to have AI-assisted combat capabilities counter-stealth, and hypersonic missile compatibility. If it enters service before the F-47, America's air dominance could be in jeopardy. Then there's Russia's MiG-41, an experimental hypersonic interceptor designed to outrun and outgun anything in the sky. With the ability to reach speeds of Mach 5 or beyond, it could become the deadliest aircraft ever deployed. Meanwhile, Germany has been secretly developing its own sixth-generation jet under the FCAS, Future Combat Air System, program. Partnering with France and Spain, the German-led project is focused on extreme stealth, energy weapons, and AI-controlled drone swarms. And not to forget the rising power, that's India. Reports suggest the Indian Air Force is working with European defense firms on their own next-generation stealth fighter. If successful, this could challenge the balance of power in South Asia and beyond. Meanwhile, in the Middle East, nations like Turkey and Iran are making rapid advancements in drone warfare, potentially bypassing the need for manned fighters altogether. Could the era of piloted jets be nearing its end? The race isn't just between Boeing and Lockheed anymore. It's a global contest for air superiority. And if Boeing stumbles, America could lose that race. Right now, the
The F-47 remains one of the most classified projects in military aviation. The first prototypes have been undergoing testing since 2020. The competition has now shifted to major engine-producing giants. And the question is now, who will power the U.S. 6th Gen fighter? The Pentagon is watching closely. And Boeing? They know this is their last shot. Because this isn't just about a fighter jet. This is about redemption. For Boeing. For American air dominance. And for the future of warfare itself. For now, let's take this discussion in the comments section. Who do you think will win this modern warfare race? What challenges are ahead for Boeing? And if they'll ever be able to overcome them? We'd love to hear your thoughts on this one.